Cast. Breaking news from the reef. Have you ever been so disturbed by a toy that it actually made you look away? That's what Clyde Barker's Tortured Souls figurines did to me when I worked at Suncoast video many moons ago. And thanks to McFarland Toys, they're going to be they're coming back to torture us again. At this year's New York Comic Con, artist and spawn creator Todd McFarlane revealed that his toy company is going back to the basics by reviving not only his popular toy line movie Maniacs, but also Clyde Barker's classic toy series Tortured Souls. While being interviewed by IG and McFarlane outlined his new game plan on how he's going to bring these new toys to the consumer. We live in a brave new world where you can go literally from production to the consumer, right? You can cut out all the middlemen, and we're seeing that with Kickstarters and people doing direct, you know, dot com, McFarlane said. So what we're going to do is when we started McFarlane Toys 20 plus years ago, we were built on the detailed stuff, doing all these cool monsters and all this sort of wicked stuff. Unfortunately, the stores we were selling to at that point, like Tower Records and Suncoast and Babbage's and KB Toys and all these other ones, they've all fallen to the wayside. McFarlane continued, so we end up having to follow the game plan of the Fortune 500 companies and having to do the big brands, but we're going to just start selling more just direct to the consumer. And that's when McFarlane dropped on the big news about McFarlane Toys' game plan. So we're going to go back to our origins and we're going to go, hey, for all of you people who like Tortured Souls, there's going to be more. For all of you people who like some of the movie Maniacs, there's going to be more. But even the new, the stuff we just created, like Dragons, more. Spawn, more. Twisted Tales, more. The first series of Clyde Barker's Tortured Souls was a toy line consisting of six fi figures that were designed by Clyde Barker that also included a 32-page novelette that told the stories of all the characters that included. Agonostes, Ludicu, Mongroid, the Sith Meister, Talisac, and Vino at Antimontica. A second series quickly followed with another six figures, but minus the backstories for the characters. Zalta, Zane, Suffering Bob, Feverish, Morabundi, and Camille Nor. With this announcement, let's hope this means that Clive will be a part of the creative process by helping with the designs of the new figures and creating backstories for them. The original series that came, back, that came out in 2001 are some of the most beautifully grotesque toy creations I've ever seen, but the backstories by Barker are what gave them life beyond the plastic they were made of. While Series 2 contained some very well-crafted figures, I didn't care for them as much because they didn't have any backstories, which made the first series so special. In fact, the film adaptation based on the first series was going to happen at one point by Universal Pictures, but sadly the, pod the project fell into development hell. As always, we'll keep you updated as more news comes in, but in the meantime, check out all the figurines in this video provided by YouTube user Action Figure Expert that shows off all the lavish detail that went into them. Thanks to IGN and Action Figure Expert for sharing.